Buck was, it's funny because he was on my side this morning. He was hanging out right there. And then he seen me with his food and he jumped over, right? Ugh. And your face is nice and clean. Oh wait, oh shit. My bad, that's my fault, Buck. Let me grab it, it was my fault. Did you grab it? Okay, here. It was my fault. I didn't hold on to the plate so well when he came up to it. All right, eat those peanuts that fell, and then you have more. Yeah. But it looks nice and clean. I don't see no ticks on him today, which is good. I sprayed him yesterday. Right? And I'm going to spray you today, too. The apples and peanuts must taste good together. Right? They must taste good together, I'm sure. I can hear you crunching the peanuts. It's crazy how you see how his hair is growing by his antlers? Because the velvets will be popping up soon. Probably in two weeks, we'll see like little stubbies. Right? We'll see like little stubbies. I mix the peanuts and the apples together because I feel like at least he can have both together. I don't have to put in a cup anymore. He could just eat everything all at once. So he doesn't drop peanuts on the floor. He gets the whole amount that I give him, right? And you don't lose any peanuts. I think he likes it this way too. He's enjoying his peanuts. This morning I had the baby's doctor's appointment for a checkup. He's gaining weight. The doctor said he's doing really good. And they all said he looks like a doll. <laughs> I said, I know, he's tiny. But he's doing great. The only thing, when when you bring a baby so little like that to the doctor, the doctor always wants you to undress them. And my son hates being undressed. He hates it, like when you have to undress him. He starts screaming. So I, I was like, oh, I was like, I'm so sorry. I was like, I have to undress you. Right, Buck? Your brother doesn't like to be undressed. Here you go. Almond and a peanut. You got it? Good boy. Good boy. And then for dinner, you get your big dinner. The only thing, he doesn't have extra fruit. Like, usually I give him, like, either strawberries or grapes. So... He's going to get that one the next time we go food shopping. Because my husband forgot to pick it up last weekend, this past weekend, when he went food shopping. So I told my husband, I said, this week, don't forget. <laughs> what happened, baby? What happened? Oh, my big boy. I love you so much, Buck. You ate all your food. You ate it quick. You ate that thing really quick, the apples and everything. You were hungry this morning? Oh, my big boy. I put fresh water in his bucket. He's got corn. Right? You got everything? Go get your corn. Go get your corn. Good boy. All right. Now he's eating his corn. It's a little chilly this morning. I'm not going to lie. And the sky looks like gloomy. Because so I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Oh, I just can't wait for the spring weather. Like, it's spring already, and it doesn't feel like spring. It feels like kind of like fall going into winter. That's what it feels like. This weather is really something. I can't wait for the weather to get nicer so I can sit outside with my son and make my son enjoy, like, the beautiful weather, like the air, the fresh air. But right now, it's too cold. I will not do it. No, he'll probably get sick. Because this weather, it's cold, where I still have to put on, like, a sweater and a coat and a hat. Like, it's literally outside feels like that. Like, I still have to bundle up. That's why I told Buck, take his time for losing that winter coat, because it's still cold out. Which I think he is taking his time, because usually we'll know when he starts really losing his winter coat is his hair is going to start getting lighter. So his hair is not light yet, so he still has his winter coat on him. But I can see that his body is shed, starting to shed. He has, like, loose hairs. Let me see if I can get, catch it with the camera. Yeah, you see? The white hairs on him, that's all loose hairs that are shedding. That's all him shedding. Right, big boy? 
You know, it's funny. My husband's outside right now with my father-in-law. They're just chit-chatting, you know? And Buck is not jumpy, nothing. Like, you know, looking straight. Like, he's calm right now. I think it's because he actually, like, you know, he's got used, he's getting used to my husband's voice now. Hi, big boy, you were hungry? I got the bread, the seeded bread for the birds. I gotta break that up pretty soon. My husband's gonna clean and buck section on Saturday. He said he's gonna do it. He's gonna go in there and like with the blower and just blow away all those loose sticks and leaves that are in here. You ate? Good boy. You eat your corn. He's such a good boy. Look at my handsome boy. I told my husband, I said, now we have a big boy and a little boy. <laughs> we have a baby boy and a big boy. <laughs> Right? You're my big boy. And then inside I have my baby boy. I got two boys and a girl. My dog is she's a girl. It looks like he's debating like if he should finish his corn. He keeps going back and forth. And his tail is so white. Like the fur on his tail. You know, for him being like a woodsy type of animal, I'm telling you, he keeps himself so clean. He keeps himself really, really clean, I noticed. Because the white parts of his body, like the white hairs, are so white. Meanwhile, it's like you put a dog, let's say a white dog in the woods, like walk around the woods. They'll come back looking like brown with dirt all over them. But, this, you know, deers, they sleep outside. They sleep on the dirt and stuff. And their hair always looks clean. It amazes me. That amazes me. My husband's so loud. It's so funny. When he talks, literally, he's so loud. But now he's starting to use his inner voice when he's inside the house. <laughs> like, he's not so loud anymore inside the house with the baby. But we still keep the TV loud because I don't want my son getting used to too much quiet, you know? Like, this past Sunday, you know, we ate by my mother-in-law's house next door. And we had the TV blasted, like, loud there on the Sunday dinner. We were all talking, like our normal voices, and he slept through it all. He slept through all the noise. So thank God my son is not like, you know, like he needs quiet, let's say, to sleep. Like he sleeps through all the noise, which is a good thing, you know? He's not like, I don't know that word that I'm looking for. But he doesn't wake up or jump up through noise and stuff. He got used to my dog barking, and my dog has a habit that literally, what's, that, what's he doing? Oh, he's just standing there. Oh, he's munching on the grass that's growing and the greens. But Buck, you're going to have way more grass and four-leaf clovers this spring, this summer. I can see some of the grass growing that I planted from last year. Like, some of it is growing back, but some of it is not. Because I don't think the soil is, like, great, great for, like, planting stuff. You know? I don't know. Where is he? Oh, he's smelling everything right now. All right, everyone, I'm going to get going. I'm going to go break up the bread for the birds. I have it right here. I filled up their bowl of water. Buck's bowl of water is filled up. So everybody has fresh water. Oh, got to get up. Hold on, guys. Thank God it's a lot easier for me to stand up and sit down. Like, it's a lot easier. Like, my body's definitely recovering. It's just my C-section cut still feels like, you know, not fresh. Like, it doesn't hurt anymore. I was taking over-the-counter Tylenol and Motrin for pain because I, the hospital wanted to give me like something heavy and I said, no, I don't want it. I said, no, no, I'll stick with over-the-counter meds because <laughs> I want to be wide awake for my son, you know? I want to be alert. I don't want to be like half sleeping or half dead while I'm in, that, in the house. Like, no, thank you. No, no. So I've been on over-the-counter meds like Tylenol, like regular Tylenol I've been taking and thank God it works. It works. All right, Buck, I'll see you later. I'll see you later for dinner, big boy. We'll all see you later for dinner. Right? I love you. He's going to be foraging because he's a piggy. 
Well, breakfast is never like a big, big breakfast. I always give him a big, big dinner because of the fact that I want him to be nice and full like for the rest of the night. So he'll be nice and full. So that's why I do it that way. But I put a big scoop of corn. So he's going to have corn throughout the whole afternoon. So if he gets hungry, he'll go walk back and have corn. Right? Look at his aunt. Oh, I wanted to show you guys his antlers, but now he's moving. You're leaving me? I love you. I'll see you later. I'll see you later, big boy. All right, everyone. Buck is on his walk, his daily walks that he does every day around the whole forest. I will be back later this evening with Buck's dinner video. Buck is doing great. My son is doing great. We're all doing great. We're all happy. My son is a very happy baby. He smiles every day. I He smiles like two, three times of the day while he, after his feed-ins. Like while he like closes his eyes and he's probably dreaming of something good because he always smiles, which thank God, I'm, I feel so blessed to have a happy boy, you know? I'm like over the moon right now. <laughs> but I will be back later. I hope everyone has a great day. And me and Buck will be back later this evening. Ciao for now.